Now, now you're you thinking. Can do this? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 hold on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, making their debuts to Cabby Presents, I present to you Oso Nick and Tosaint. Welcome, sirs. Thanks for having us. Appreciate thank you, thank you. it. Thank you. Appreciate this. How aware are you of the rivalry just between the cities of Montreal and Toronto? Personally, it's new to me. Okay. I'm new to the team, so I don't really know the history of it, but uh, it's pretty intense. In the soccer world, I heard there's some, some blood in the hockey world as well. Uh, here's the thing about the hockey world. Toronto's been taking a bunch of L's, <laughs> like 10 or 11 in a row. It's a fight out, out there, and it's even worse that it's, it's them. You know, it's, it's all about bragging rights, so it's kind of them. Man. Can you actually fight? Nah, not in soccer, but yeah. But can you fight like in the street? In the street, yeah, you can. Can you fight? Nah. <laughs> God, you're too pretty to fight. You're like, all these locks, my yeah. dude? That's so wavy. You're like, you don't, you don't like, that girl, she's a real, like, you don't, that's nothing. You don't listen to anything that's more than like 80 BPM. Like, everything is so wavy for you. First couple tackles you get into, you gotta get a piece of them. You're not trying to hurt them, you're just sending them a message. It's Derby Day, folks. Tensions running high between these two rivals. He takes one in the bag, he's like this. Like, for me, I think it's all about the scoreline. I don't know what you've seen, what we did to New York. Wow. If we do that same type of thing to Montreal, they're gonna feel it for, for some time. Yeah, you guys have been scoring a lot recently. It's like me in high school. No, not at all like me in high school. As you guys are so like unbelievably flexible with your, like could you kick a dude in the face if you wanted to? Yeah, I could. Yeah, for yeah. sure, 100%. I could. You kick a dude in the yeah. face? Yeah. Who, who wants to get kicked? Cavi does. Cavi says he does. does. If I put a if I put a ball on my head, can you get the oh, ball off my head? I can do it. Would you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. In the soccer world, the play-by-play -play announcer often has a color analyst, and they paint the picture for the the audience at home. If I do a really terrible impression of Christian Jack, it was a two-two thriller here in Montreal, joined by the man who scored the fourth goal, Tosin Ricketts. Where you guys paint the picture as the color analyst, and I'll be the play-by-play -play guy. Right. Again, with apologies to Christian Jack. I think Toronto FC should be more than fine here. At the end of the day, it's a game of two halves between the haves and the have-nots. TFC have to get a bunch of foxes in the box. T. <laughs> Well, I think that uh, TFC is going to come together with uh, their teamwork and their chemistry and the organization. And I think they're going to they're going to really uh, test uh, the Montreal impact. I think it's going to go really well. Did you have an I, accent there? Yeah, he did. Yeah. I thought I was supposed to. And those foxes must dig holes, bury, yeah. bury the holes in the box. For all, yeah. Come up within the six-yard box and put the ball in the net. Mm. Say that again, man. <laughs> So I present to you guys, the end of Cabby. Oh, man, you would have made me much better looking with a cleat in the face. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. <laughs> Anticipate the Toronto Messi, Joe Winko, to lead the way and to keep being massive in his little way. <laughs> Yeah. That was crazy. <laughs> Bars. 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 Bars.